Hi guys, so we are starting ripping stuff out for the extension. Um, we've got to go ahead off the council, we've got to go ahead for planning and everything. And the neighbour said it's okay to go for it. So just started ripping up the kitchen sink and the units. Washing machine and tumble dryer have gone in another room. Stripped off all the tiles, the sink's come out. Um, so the plan is the wall is getting taken out from the window. That wall's getting taken out right up to I didn't roof height. Get that. Could you oh. try again? Thanks for that. So the wall's getting stripped up right up through to the pine end. All that's coming out down to ground level. And what I'm going to do then is on this slab right here, I'm just going to fly a timber wall straight through. And just like on the office up the back, we're going to just check OSB on the outside and just get it watertight-ish. And then I'm just going to wrap something around this corner of the wall to prevent moisture getting in through the neighbours. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. But I need to disconnect the two um, flow and return for the heating, the hot and cold water that's coming down, feeding under here in the sink. As you can see, it's absolute mess under here. It's stinking, there's all spiders everywhere. It's all mold, cobwebs, dirt, and just absolutely gross. All that black that was under the worktop, even though we cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned. Just absolutely disgusting. So all this worktop's coming out. We're gonna temporarily check another Work top in the other room. See, so reuse the sink, just bleach it all, clean it up nicely. Two new taps, um, and get it all plumbed in along with the washing machine and tumble dryer. Um, and then we just wait in for the cost for the fount uh, for the dig out, which is going across the across the little white line, and is returning in by here somewhere, and then coming across here. So, yeah, that's what we're doing at the moment. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two. Get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day Yo, Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo Negative thoughts are poison, they ride, uh Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds, uh They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost, uh yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaken, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause a sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake
gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's 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 gonna be a good day. Set your affirmations, aspirations. Hi guys, so this is what happens when you get either penetrating or rising damp, especially on tiled walls, or moisture. You can see it's like flaking pink by there. I've only just gone like this. The whole wall is blown. There's no adhesion to the wall. It's big. It's pretty much vertically held in place. <laughs> Ta-da! So if you're looking on taking projects can involve lots of dust and debris from like masonry, anything like that. Um, don't go using a normal uh, filtered vacuum like a Dyson or something because that filter is going to clog up with, uh, clog up with dust and just uh, render it useless. So the best thing to do is pick yourself up a bag uh, vacuum. Henry Hoover's is all right. Um, Titans from Screwfix. You want a bag vacuum, something that's going to just suck all the dust up go into the bag, you can just chuck it out, carry on. This doesn't lose suction until it's actually full, so it's brilliant for sucking all this sort of stuff up. It takes everything out, it takes quite decent sized bits of uh, like stone, etc. So we've had a good clean up, I'm gonna hoover everything out now, make sure it's dust free, um, and then probably gonna have to buy a few more bags for this because this project's very large, and I've already gone through two of them, just doing this room and the back room. So yeah, pick yourself up a bagged uh, vacuum, something with a good, volume capacity um, but yeah so the next thing on the list guys is to take uh row tiles out of here build a stud frame up the wall supporting that pearl in there um tied into this wall and that wall just so there's no movement and then i can board it um so yeah we'll get on that next so I'm going to cap off this radiator, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this pipework here, drain the system into this bucket, um, get out rid of all the mucky water, and then I'm going to go right back up across the roof, across there, and then I'm going to cap it off over there because we don't need any of the pipework, and then I'm going to have to turn the water off at some point and also cap off the hot and cold feeds over here. Um, realistically, I want to cap them off as far as I can over there to stop any possible Legionella, but um, it should be okay for now. Um, so that's the plan. That's gonna, let's go and do this, and then we'll see how we get on. Okay, guys, so just cap these two off. Probably got about, I don't know, five, six litres of water out there, black as hell, so I'll just bend them over now, just in case, but I'm gonna get my ladders up now and cap them off up there. I've got my two um, 10 mil stop ends here. So once that's on, get the, water, uh, the heating system back up and running, and we should be all right and just drain the radiators and uh, get all the air out of them. Okay, so I got my two ends cut there and there. It's hard to see over the camera. I'm going to use some PTFE now to go on the threads of the tops of my stop ends. Put some PTFE around the uh, washer as well, the olive, sorry. And then we're going to get it nice and tightened up and clamped on. Fill the system back up. Probably be big air pockets in this area. Um, so it shouldn't get any leaks, hopefully. Um, and then we go from there. It's a bit hard to see you losing a bit of light. But um, here and here we got our hot water, cold water feed, the, which was the taps, um, which I've now capped off. Same sort of thing. I went down in the corner, cut the bottoms off down there, let them feed out into the bucket, trimmed them off slowly. And then I've come back down here, snipped them. Just capped them off with stop ends, just like I've done with the microbore 10 mil for the radiators. Um, I had to turn the water off in the street for the house because I'm not trusting the um, stopcock in this house because it is old, connected to lead and looks quite rusty. So we'll be getting a new water feed in the house eventually. So I'm going to go back out now, turn the water on, slowly turn off all the taps, check for leaks, build the pressure back on the boiler so we can get the heating working again. Shouldn't really need it because it's warmer weather now. Um, so yeah. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, so hopefully that was a nice simple task and no, no leaks. And I can go forward from here.
So just before it gets too dark, I'm just going to cut out the pipe work up there and drop it down. That's all the uh, copper from the micro bore and all the hot, cold and external tap by there. So I'm going to just cut the rest out and that'll be it for the evening.